Hello everybody. In this presentation, you will find relevant information about the intertwining points between interculturality, especially from a non-essentialist approach, and multilingual education. So you will get some basic and relevant information about what it means to adopt inter an intercultural approach in multilingual education and what it means to uh, adopt an intercultural and multilingual approach in mainstream education. Uh, we will uh, together uh, analyze the intertwining points between interculturality and multilingual education with a special regard to the European context. Then we will uh, provide an overview of uh, the main European documents and reports focusing on interculturality and multilingual education. And then we will uh, pay a specific attention to uh, one uh, European educational context, uh, which is the Italian one, in order to check the experiences of intercultural and multilingual education in the school settings. As you all might know, uh, there are a few intertwining points between interculturality and multilingual education as well as uh, between uh, intercultural education and multilingual education. And these intertwining points uh, have been so far stressed by several uh, documents of language and educational policy issued in the European domain, especially by the European Center for Modern Languages of the Council of Europe. Two of the most relevant one and of the most diffused one are the FREPA CARAP, which uh, has been published by the ECML, and uh, also the Guide for the Development and Implementation of Curricula for Plurilingual and Intercultural Education. As specifically regards the FREPA CARAP, intercultural approach is conceived as one of the four main pluralistic approaches according to the European view of multilingualism and multilingual education. Besides the intercultural approach, in those four pluralistic approaches, we can find also um, the avail along, which is uh, an, also known as language awareness uh, in some ways, and uh, uh, intercomprehension between languages, and uh, also um, uh, didactic approaches uh, between multiple languages. And uh, uh, in both uh, documents, you can find the descriptors uh, for the management of cultural diversity in class, which are very important uh, to conceive, uh, uh, concretely conceive uh, the intertwining points between cultural diversity and multilingualism in order to, uh, um, to stress the point on the importance uh, of uh, uh, positively evaluating multilingual and multicultural repertoires. Another very important uh, European document uh, also issued by the Council of Europe uh, that uh, um, gives uh, a very uh, in, important uh, attention to interculturality and multilingualism is uh, the uh, uh, CFR companion volume, which was published in 2018 and uh, which integrates uh, the Common European Framework of Reference published uh, at the end of the 90s, of the 90s which, is a, a very, uh, which has been very famous across uh, the past uh, uh, two decades. And uh, as regards the companion volume, it is important to remember that uh, uh, several uh, descriptors for competencies have been added in this companion volume, stressing on the importance of interculturality and multilingualism, uh, some of the most important ones uh, regard uh, mediation, so language and cultural mediation activities, and uh, 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 those descriptors uh, uh, specifically regard uh, the uh, way for facilitating intercultural space uh, and the intertwining points uh, uh, between the intercultural spaces and the multilingualism spaces and the multilingual dimension of uh, uh, different social settings. Uh, mm, the stress is not uh, just on educational domains, but uh, on social, uh, social settings uh, in general. 
And uh, besides these uh, very important documents, uh, also some uh, important reports uh, issued by the European Commission have so far stressed on the intertwining points between interculturality and multilingual education. One of those uh, is the UEDC report, uh, uh, which has the title Integrating Students from uh, Migrant Backgrounds into Schools in Europe, which was published in 2019 by the European Commission. Inside this report, you can see uh, different perspectives on uh, the way that uh, through which uh, uh, different European uh, educational uh, uh, educational systems deal with uh, cultural diversity and interculturality according uh, to different descriptors and according to different priority areas. And uh, as you might see on the right part of this slide, uh, uh, there is a differentiation about uh, dealing the way of dealing with interculturality across European countries. So for example, at the extreme left, France and the UK as are considered uh, the ones dealing with uh, much, very much with the, the diversity dimension, stressing uh, at the same time on assimilationist um, or multiculturalist approaches. And on the extreme right, you can see uh, Italy, which in its educational system stresses a lot on the whole child dimension and much less on the diversity dimension. And uh, um, as you might know from the Italian context in particular, I'm talking about uh, the Italian context because uh, I live in Italy and I so far have carried out uh, uh, research in, in the Italian educational context. Uh, there has been a strict uh, inter, uh, intertwining dimension between interculturality and multilingual education in the school since the early 90s. And uh, since uh, that time, there has been also a strong scientific and educational collaboration between schools and educational settings with the Centri Interculturali, with our uh, uh, agencies and societies uh, which are founded uh, outside the schools, uh, but uh, which are um, promoted and uh, financed by local governments and organizations in order to meet the intercultural and multilingual requirements of uh, schools. And uh, of course, with this affirmation of Centri Interculturali and this gradual affirmation of the important, important of intercultural education, uh, there has been also a gradual affirma affirmation of the role of cultural mediators. Uh, so language experts, but also cultural experts, language facilitators and teachers of L2 Italian in public schools since the end of the 90s uh, and until today. So uh, uh, at the same time, there have been intertwining lines of intervention in Italian schools between the perspective of intercultural education and multilingual education, trying to put together these two dimensions, uh, giving uh, paying attention to uh, both uh, components of uh, uh, the way of dealing with interculturality and multilingualism. Uh, so since the end of the first decade of the 2000s, so there have been uh, multiple local and national projects focusing both on intercultural education and on multilingual education. I mentioned here just three of the most relevant ones, but of course there have been many more projects uh, uh, carried out in Italy and still active in Italy. The first one is IRIS, identifying and reconstructing individual language stories, which has been carried out in the municipalities of Milan and Pavia, according to an Erasmus Plus project and from 2017 to 2020. Um, and Repertoire Plus, uh, which has been carried out in Sud Tirol, so a very specific area in Italy, because it is interested by an internal multilingual dimension and by a, a multilingual uh, dimension, uh, which is composed by uh, multilingual repertoires uh, provided by uh, recent migration. Uh, another one is l'altro parlante, which brings together uh, intercultural education and the multilingual education, focusing specifically on translanguaging as a pedagogy, carried out since 2016 to, 2000, to 2022, so to today, in a network of six schools uh, in uh, Central and Northern Italy, and uh, uh, with the supervision of the University for Foreigners of Siena.
So thank you very much for watching this video.